Welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be talking about the three different masks that I just got in today from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. They were in fact pre-orders but they came in simultaneously and were sent out at the same time. Uh, I'm going to touch base on all of them in individual uh, videos. Now I will tell you this, I have set up a um, an actual update letting you guys know earlier today that the masks did come in. I showed you a quick view of the masks still in their package and stuff. I have now since taken them out and now I'm going to give you my opinions on each of these masks because I've already tried them on and done all kinds of stuff. Now I will tell you this, the most impressive in my opinion is the Jordu Shell Rot Mask. That one is absolutely fantastic and I'll show you why. Okay, But this one here it does, it does come with its flaws. Let's talk about the mask as you see it. Now, it does have tufts of hair, okay? On both sides, okay? As you can see right here. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway, the mask in itself, the way it looks, looks pretty decent, okay? I mean, it's not ridiculously detailed or, you know, 100% accurate because each of the Jasons that have shown their faces in the movies are a little bit different so but this one is a good representation now the thing about this mask is it's absolutely gigantic I actually put it on and I have a big head and it's too big for my head okay well that's how big this mask is okay um, I put it on and you can actually bob your head back and forth and the mask will you know back bob back and forth because it's absolutely massive in size. It is a big mask. You literally got to wear maybe one or two ball cap, not cap, ball caps, but um, hats, like uh, winter hats or something to fill it in so it doesn't, you know, bounce back and forth and be all loose because it really is hard to see out of. If you can ge keep the mask steady, yeah, it's perfect. But if you can't and shifting, you're constantly grabbing it and shifting it so you can actually see that's not a good thing but that's not a bad thing for me either because you know I mean it's there and I don't have any intentions on actually wearing it at any given time because of the size of it uh, I will be using it as display okay so keep that in mind anyway let's go ahead and move this in so you can actually see some of the details of this mask right there guys All right. A little deformed in the face. The ears, everything. The color scheme is completely gray. And the eyes, obviously, they got some black in them. But outside of that, there's no outstanding colors to it. But because it's got the hockey mask on, I don't think you need to really worry too much about it. The whole entire thing is just actually having the skin or the head to wear as Jason Voorhees. And because in most cases you're wearing the mask so it really doesn't matter as long as it looks good on the outside and unless you pull the mask off it's got to look good in the face and it does for the most part it looks really pretty decent in my opinion but anyway this mask in itself now weight wise and all the uh, dimensions I don't know what they are but let me show you the actual writing here on the mask okay now it does say Something along the, uh, it's uh, Roman numerals, right there, okay. And it also says, all rights reserved, production made in Mexico. So you would think this is actually a um, Ghoulish Productions, because there is a company called Ghoulish Productions that makes masks. And they are out of Mexico, but that's not the case here. This is Ruby, so this is another company. Uh, and possibly this could be, and they might cross reference or something. But outside of that, it doesn't really say anything extraordinary. All right, it just pretty much says writings and stuff. But that's it on that particular mask. Now, what I'm going to do is shut this off. Let me turn it around, wait till it comes around. And I'm going to show you the actual hockey mask. It is different, I'll tell you that. But it is big enough for this mask. I noticed when I try to put on my um, 
my paintball mask that's uh, based on Jason. It's a very nice mask, but it is smaller, not as wide. And as you can see, this head is absolutely huge, okay? Anyway, let me show you the mask itself. And you can see what I'm talking about. So it's absolutely gigantic. It's really it's wide. Now I don't know if all you know official licensed uh, Jason masks are this wide. They could be. I don't know because I don't have one. I got one from Spirit Halloween, and I got the two paintball masks. One's black and one's a vanilla color, but they're they're kind of scrunched up a little bit, kind of like that a little bit. Uh, so. I don't know, maybe they're just supposed to be full masks like that. But I will tell you this. When I watched Jason X, in the beginning of the movie where he's stuck in the warehouse, he's wearing that mask, and I want to get a hold of one of them because I love the way that thing looks. It's got an extra wide nose on it and everything. It's really unique looking. The scratches and the dirt and everything on it, and his eyes look absolutely evil when he's looking around and stuff like that. It's really, it's creepy. Uh, he does a fantastic job when it comes Kane Hodder when he does uh, Jason, and that's the main reason in uh, Jason versus or Freddy versus Jason, they replaced Jason with uh, Kurt Singer. I can't remember his first name. Ken Kurt Singer, I think it is. Anyway, he did a fantastic job. That guy did, and the reason they switched him out was because of his sensitive eyes, because he wanted him to be a little more sensitive. And that's why they use that guy instead of Kane Hodder. Anyway, this mask is different in color. It's kind of grayish green, okay? Normally, the hockey masks are, you know, like a, a dirty white or kind of yellowish from aging. But almost to the point like this here is almost military. I mean, the colors are a little off in my opinion, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but in most cases, when you do see Jason... It is a yellowish color or aging color. Maybe this is super aging. But it would look good if you're roaming out in the woods or something. It is a perfect color scheme. Anyway, this mask in itself. All right. I'm going to tell you what it looks like here in the back. All right. You can actually do something crazy here by putting some kind of uh, plastic lenses maybe if you wanted to. But you don't need to because it's for the mask anyway. Anyway, this mask here is a very thin vinyl plastic type mask. The actual strap here, okay, when I first got it, it's, um, it was actually off. Okay, it didn't glue properly, and that's why I say these are kind of flawed. But I glued it back on with some Gorilla Glue, and she's good to go, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it in the nutshell when it comes to Jason Voorhees. This is 60 bucks for this mask. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, the only real flaw when it comes to this mask is the size of it. It's absolutely massive. It's gigantic, guys. I will tell you that. Okay. i straighten out his head a little bit here. But it is gigantic, okay? Unfortunately, it fits nice, but too much movement where you can't get your peripherals or your vision straight because you're constantly moving the head, and that's not good, okay? They made it just a little bit smaller, yeah, that'd be all right. But I'm not complaining because I'm technically, like I said, I'm not going to wear it. Uh, but it is a nice looking mask for 60 bucks. You can't go wrong. Ruby's is hit and miss when it comes to their products. They're not a high-end mask company, but they got some nice ones. Don't get me wrong. Now I got a Herman Monster out there in my room, and it's not bad. And I thought it was flawed. Honestly, it's my mistake. Uh, I thought one of the eyes weren't properly colored in, but come to find out, and that's how it is in the um, online and stuff, so I actually colored it in. It looks okay, okay? He's got uh, dark pupils now, but I didn't realize they were like an off color, but it looks all right. And I mean, some of those ruby ma uh, masks, they're not bad, okay? Ghoulish Productions, now they really step up. Now, Trick or Treat Studios, I'm going to get into that one next. Okay, it is called Jordell uh, Shell's uh, Rot Mask. Okay, that is one of the best looking masks I have ever seen or owned. Okay, now that came in today and it looks absolutely spectacular. I'm going to show you that one next here. But anyway, this is my Jason Voorhees mask. 
Uh, there are a lot more expensive ones out there. There's even silicone if you can afford it. And they're like a rubber substance. They're like almost skin. Uh, they're very pliable. And they use them in the actual movies and stuff like that. But they are incredibly expensive. But realistic in nature. They got some really cool looking masks out there when it comes to Jason like this. Uh, but you're going to be pay, uh, paying a pretty penny for it. This wasn't pretty, uh, wasn't bad at all. 60 bucks, you can't go wrong. If you're doing Halloween, boom, wear it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it is big, okay? Like I said, you got to literally stuff your head with a couple of uh, hats just to get it so it doesn't move around. You should be okay. But you got to fill your head with uh, some hats or something, some kind of a filler. Because the head in itself is huge, so it's really loose inside. Anyway, that's it for this particular video. I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm now going to concentrate on Jordu Shell's Rot Mask, okay? And that's Trick or Treat Studios. Then we're going to get into my other mask that also came in today, and that's the Young Michael Myers from 1978's Halloween movie, that particular Trick or Treat Studios mask as well. Okay, this is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good night.